you know, um, one of my fears that I choose to no longer have any authority in my life is the is fear of being left or being left alone. Oh my God. Ever since when my mom passed, that was my fear. I mean, I was like really going through some anxiety of separation and things of that nature and all that kinds of stuff, you know? So when baby be on me like this, sometimes I be needing that this, you know what I mean? Sometimes I really be needing it because it's like, um, that is what I've been battling. Is the fact that, you know, I don't, I don't, I didn't want to just be left alone or whatever, you know. Um, and after my mom left, then I just felt like, man, I, I was empty like a motherfucker. I mean, I was just, I guess, and I've been riddled with that for a long time. And so, it's like, man, I no longer will allow this to have the authority over my energy and my life anymore. I'm not getting ready to, it, it, can't, it just can't live here no more. I need to let that shit go. Motherfucker, if you want to go, go. Check this out. Nigga, that means that my destiny is not tied to your motherfucking ass. That means I can't depend on you. Because that means if you're willing to walk away from me, that means that, guess what? I can't depend on you. Because I don't want to gravitate to something, something that I don't find to be stable. You know what I mean? Because I need something that I can lean on and I know your motherfucking ass ain't going to fall. Fuck all that shit. I need something solid, goddammit. The words, I know I'm not going to fall. So if I feel as though you're wavering or like, I don't know if I'm in, I don't know if I'm out, I don't know if I'm in, I don't know if I'm out. Nigga, you're going to make me gravitate to something else. You know what I mean? I'm that type of person because I need um, um, uh, stability. And I guess that's more of probably the more of... Um, my my zodiac probably the fact that I'm an earth sign because I'm very um I everything that I gravitate to or whatever I feel the need to ground it, you know what I'm saying to make it stable to make it uh secure, um to make it grounded to make it um what else at peace, um to help uh to succumb to engulf what other word can i use to suffocate sometimes <laughs> so i know a lot of this is a lot of my own personality you know what i mean so some of the things that i've been noticing that now that is all coming to the forefront of different things that has transpired in my 45 years of living this life i'm like wow it's like so much different things you know, I've called these different things into my life based upon my own behavior, my own energy. You know, you reap what you sow. You truly reap what you sow. So it's like, wow. You can call some shit into your life if you want to, nigga. You better see. You better put you. You better watch what you put on your life. Watch what you put the fuck on your tongue. You hear me? Shit. Because you will get just that right there. That very motherfucking thing or that very fear. You know, so then therefore don't give it no, don't give it no energy. It's like shit, nigga, you, I don't want your motherfucking ass, nigga, fuck you. Uh, nah, I ain't got no room for your ass. You better get up out of here, anxiety. You better get up out of here, you know, whatever your fear is or whatever your kryptonite, whatever your weakness is or whatever that is that you feel that I can't get past, that means it's taking a hold of you. It's taking a hold of your motherfucking ass and fuck that. No, I want to live, and I don't want to be, I don't want no shackles on me. You know what I mean? I don't want to be put in no box. You know what I mean? I don't want to be put on the shelf just for you to look at her, but you can't touch her. You can't touch her. You can't, uh, uh, or anything like that. No, you know what I'm saying? I'm a hugger. Shit, I be hugging motherfuckers. You know what I mean? And, hey, you know, to some, that might not, you know, because some people like their own personal space, but I'm a hugger, though. I'm I'm just one of them, you know? But, um, yeah, you know, so shit. I just feel good today. I just feel good today. I really do. I just feel good today, shit. The Ten Commandments and shit, that, ain't that a tradition? That motherfucker come on every goddamn year, don't it? So... I'm certain that's probably circulating some goddamn well. 
You know, I ain't mad at it. You know what I'm saying? The old one. You know what I'm saying? Where they redid the color on that motherfucker. Yeah. You know, for years. My sister watches that shit every motherfucking year. I mean, we be, be looking forward to it. I be like, ah, damn, every year? Shit, fuck. It got to be something else you can watch. You know what I mean? Fuck that. I mean, looking forward to it like it's a premiere, too. Man, hey, it ain't that deep for me. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I I got what happened. I understand. Let my people go. I got all that shit. But every year, fuck that. And this motherfuckers really do this shit every motherfucking year. Every year. Every year. Every year. Okay? Every year. <coughs> um, There was something else that I was going to um say. Um, talk about it. Discuss. I've completely forgot where I was, shit. Um, it was so many things that I was going to talk about, but I, I kind of, you know, the energy is not moving me to discuss those things today, you know what I mean? So it's like, okay, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to kind of just let that ride and rest, and we'll tap on that there another day, because I'm going to have you throwing up in your mouth, okay? I already got it, I already got it lined up, but I'm impromptu like that. I don't have no script. I don't have no papers and shit right here that I'm trying to keep up with what I'm saying. And I just go with my own energy, my own vibration. And wherever it take me to, that's where the fuck we going. It don't matter to me without no goddamn filter. Because as I look at it, look, check this out. Who I'm running from? On some real shit. Who the fuck am I running from? Okay, I paid my dues to be able to kick it like this right here. I done dealt with all kind of motherfucking mayhem and bullshit and foolishness and nonsense and all that shit. To be able to do this right here, nigga, you better get out of my goddamn way and quit bullshitting me. Real shit, you better stop that, okay? You better stop that shit. Yeah, huh, stop that shit. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to get up out of this one. And I'm going to go see if my daughter is ready and shit. I'm on my way to the market. I want some cake, too. Like a yellow with chocolate frosting, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Duncan Hines girl. Let me just go and be clear on that shit. Fuck Pillsbury and all them motherfuckers because they ain't doing it like us. Duncan Nickel. The best cake uh, in the box on, on the whole motherfucking aisle. I'm telling you right now, fuck all them Betty Crockers and all that bullshit. Fuck all them. I, I, I respect what y'all doing and all that old type of shit. I ain't no hater to it. But I'm going to just tell you right now, you cannot fuck with Duncan. I'm just telling you that shit right now. You can't fuck with Heinz. Heinz? Oh, my God. And if you really want to kick that shit up a notch, because regularly it say add uh, three eggs, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? And water, right? But if you really want to kick that motherfucking shit up a notch, instead of adding the three that it say on the box, add four of them motherfuckers and add a box of pudding. You know, the four ounce. Okay? Instant. Not the cook and, cook and serve. I'm talking about instant. So if it's going to be the yellow fro uh, yellow cake mix or the or the butter Duncan Hine cake mix, then you want to add the French vanilla, you know, to kind of correspond with what you're doing. You ain't about to put chocolate instant pudding inside motherfucking, you know, yellow cake mix boxes. You understand what I'm saying? Now, of course, in the uh, devil's food, which is the chocolate, or you're going to do uh, German chocolate, then therefore you would put um, four eggs, one cup of water, and the instant uh uh, oh, one cup of water, uh, and, uh, I put, like, about a good, a good, look, check this out, a half a stick of real motherfucking butter. <laughs> That's me, though, <laughs> okay? Because, actually, I think it's about a half a cup of oil. You know what I'm saying? If you got canola, that's better. But a motherfucker, greedy-ass motherfucker like me, sometimes I'll be putting real butter. I know that's bad, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but still... But yeah, it's going to be one cup of uh, water, four cup of egg, I mean four uh, large eggs, and uh, the four ounce of instant pudding, and then the oil. 
And I think on the oil, I think it's a, actually a half a cup of oil. I think it's what it is. Um, but double check that, though. Because it'll say the pudding cake mix, like on the box on the side. Not the one, the the, 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 the recipe on directly on the box. Look on the one on the side, and it's going to always have a pudding cake mix recipe right there. Or it have the socket tummy for the butter, for the butter uh, uh, recipe cake mix, Duncan Hines. It used to have the socket tummy cake mix recipe on that side. For the yellow, it have a yellow pound. For the chocolate, it had a chocolate pound. You follow? Now for the uh, for the German chocolate, I don't know what their extra recipe is on the side, but. Yeah, little factoid for those of you guys that's cooking cakes and shit. You want to really fuck that nigga up on some real shit and have this motherfucker biting his goddamn nails off and really eat your pussy for real that night? Yeah. Um, you want to um, get that nigga Duncan Hines for real shit because niggas like sweets. That's one thing they do do. And especially if they like to put one up and all that old type of shit and all that old type of shit. And after you done got all y'all done said grace and y'all motherfuckers done had ham and all that old type of shit. And you got something on for the, t for the kids to watch. Or now you over there at his spot and y'all, you know what I'm saying, about to, you know what I'm saying, do y'all grown up thing. You know what I mean? Slide that nigga a piece of cake. That's all. I'm just, I'm just telling you. You know what I mean? I'm just telling, I'm just telling you how I do mine. Slide that motherfucker a proper ass piece of cake. You know what I'm saying? But it got to be one in pounds, though. It can't be no bullshit-ass Betty Crocker, Pillsbury, Kroger brand. Fuck all that bullshit. You know what I mean? Because I think these motherfuckers is 125 a box right now, food for less, okay? So, bless yourself and others and quit fucking with that bullshit and go ahead on and jump on this Duncan Hines and throw that extra four-ounce instant pudding in there and quit bullshitting yourself, okay? I don't know what you're doing. Okay, because I don't understand how these motherfuckers still in business. I don't understand it. Because once you try this shit one motherfucking time, you're going to be like, God damn, what the fuck I've been doing? I've been bullshitting like a motherfucker. I told you. Yeah, I'm telling you. Shit, it's the holiday, motherfucker. Hell, you better go ahead and go ahead and do everybody right. You don't do it all the time. You know what I'm saying? You done already went all week, TJ, Max, Burlington, all this kind of shit, and got this nigga dust off that you're going to bring to the church tomorrow. Huh? You've been getting this nigga ready all motherfucking week long. Okay, I'm going to get this nigga some Stacey Adams because them shoes ain't going to work. I'm going to have to go ahead on and get this nigga a nice little button down and all this old type of shit. Probably took the nigga downtown LA and dusty my phone. No. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's a few of y'all motherfuckers watching this shit right now. Y'all don't want that nigga to say nothing out of his mouth out the way. Nigga, all I need you to do is just escort me to the church tomorrow. We're going to go to 11 o'clock service. Don't fuck up, okay? Because it's going to, all this right here is going to factor in what type of pussy package you get tomorrow evening. So, then therefore, don't fuck it up, okay? And come up in this motherfucker and start talking and saying some dumb shit. First of all, you do not smoke in the parking lot, okay? Uh, on the church grounds, okay? That's what we're not going to do, okay? I don't need you up in here talking about some dumb shit, Okay? I just need you just to sit with me and be quiet. That's it. Just sit right here and just be quiet. I got to go in the pew first. Always let me go first. Open up the door. Nigga, show some class tomorrow, okay? Auntie just helping y'all out because I know this is the shit y'all want to say. So y'all going to bring this nigga in. Oh, I want y'all to come watch my auntie video. My auntie, oh my God, she's so funny. Oh my God, my auntie be saying some crazy shit. Put this nigga before me, Okay. But first of all, nigga, what I'm going to need you to do, though, is put a little uh, clarifying shampoo over your motherfucking beard before we get started on Easter service, okay? Because we're going to need this motherfucker cleaned all the way up. I mean, cleaned all the way up because, see, that motherfucker still got little remnants of pussy and all kinds of shit in there. Nigga, this is Easter Sunday. We need you to dust all the way off, girls. I'm going to need y'all to go head on. VO5, cucumber, I think it is. It's green, I think. Okay, clarifying shampoo. He gonna need that to go ahead on and clean all this motherfucking shit up right here. Because all this shit right here, nigga, still be having remnants of all kinds of shit. Peanut butter and jelly, all kinds of shit. Okay, I know I just ain't talking about my head, okay? But I'm saying no. Okay, it's Easter Sunday. You been getting this nigga prepped up and ready. You trying to get this niggas versed on different, you know what I'm saying? The pastor might say this, don't take it personal. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, <clears throat> that's when the pastor just might show the fuck out. 
you never know. So y'all, you might want to, you know what I'm saying? Now, let me just come on, come on in closer. Because the pastor might say, we sure do got a whole bunch of visitors in here today. You know what I mean? We're going to see how the attendance is going to be next week. Yeah. So, then therefore, just be mindful that that just might be, you know what I'm saying, the topic a little bit. He might touch on it a little bit, step on in there, and then step out just to see who get uncomfortable in their seats. The best thing to do is don't move. You know what I'm saying? When pastors say something, don't move, goddammit. Now, you might want to blink a little bit or look down. But any type of little gesture like that, nigga, that, that means that you are a hit target. It's like, goddamn. Because dogs don't bark and park cars. You know what I mean? So it's best to don't move. Don't say nothing. Don't, don't, don't touch your hair. Don't do nothing as pastor is talking. Because he is watching the, the whole body language of everybody. And he knows who he's hitting. Okay? So then therefore, go ahead on and let baby know. Because then therefore, if he's shuffling around his motherfucking seat, then the mother of the church already know. Okay, we see what she got. You know what I mean? So I'm just putting it on y'all. Y'all need to be, you know, paying attention. You know what I'm saying? I took interpersonal communications. I'm just throwing all this together. It's a message I've been given to give to y'all on today. So then therefore, let's just get that together. For the rest of y'all motherfuckers that's just waiting to go to somebody else's house and eat, I'm going to ask that you call them motherfuckers today and say, okay, look here, check this out. I'm bringing my new nigga and my friend. I'm bringing my new nigga, my friend, and I'm also bringing her kid, and I got three of my own. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to ask that you make sure you have enough shit to accommodate the motherfuckers that's in your party. You understand what I'm saying? You got to have the equivalent amount of meat to feed these motherfuckers. Because you can't come up in here with no goddamn four-pound bag of party wings, and you got about nine motherfuckers with you. You know what I mean? That ain't going to work out. Now, I'm going to need you to put in on the weed, preferably bring an eight, okay? And then on top of that, I'm going to also need you to bring some blunt wrappers. We need that too, okay? Then the next motherfucking thing, I'm going to ask that if you decide that whereas you like to drink a little bit, then I'm going to ask that you also put in on the yank, okay? Whatever your get down is, be it Cavassier or whatever, whatever, motherfucker, don't come in here with no goddamn pinnacle bottle, motherfucker, and you carting off goddamn, goddamn Cavassier and shit. That ain't going to work out. I'm just saying. Because you're going to look real crazy and you're going to make us all look crazy. You know, young ladies, when it's time to go, make sure you clean up around yourself. Clean up behind your motherfucking kids and shit. Make sure they ain't going all through the Capri Suns and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because see, this is the type of shit that takes place at motherfuckers' houses. Okay? Ask the hostess. You know, um, you know, where's your Ziploc bags and this and this and this so I can help start putting your food and things like that away. Don't just go in there and start making plates and taking your shit back to the car early before all the good shit get gone. You know what I'm saying? Then when it's time to go, you ain't got nothing in your hand and you looking at everybody else talking about, well, damn, didn't we have another whole nother tray of a uh, 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 motherfucking cobbler? Yeah, because this motherfucker right here done took half the shit home early. Yeah, don't do all that kind of shit. You know what I mean? And preferably, not only do you bring some meat to the festivities in a covered dish, you know what I'm saying, your tweed, and yo, Yank, you know what I'm saying? Call this motherfucker and be like, you know what? I just want to put in $25. You know what I'm saying? Bless him with a just $25. Because the reason I say that, because, see, look, let me tell you what all goes into, into play with all this. This motherfucker right here got to use up all this motherfucking McCormick, seasoning salt, Morton's, all this old shit. You know what I'm saying? Cooking seasoning bags, motherfucking running all this goddamn, and a lot of people ain't got but one of it. Okay, but they running all this shit right here, macaroni and cheese and shit just lined up to just get started. You know what I mean? They cooking all motherfucking night long. Your motherfucking ass is coming from home, coming from church, wherever the fuck you coming from. The food ain't ready yet. Wait a minute, what, what, huh? What, what, what you been doing all goddamn night? You know what I mean? Yeah, see, that's out of line. That's out of compliance. It's wrong. I'm just telling you right now before you look tacky as hell tomorrow. Okay? You do not go to nobody else's house and get the morning about why the fuck the food ain't ready yet. How come you ain't got dressed already? You know what I mean? Why is your hair all over your goddamn head? Don't ask that shit to the hostess. Don't say that shit to him. Because you don't know what the fuck they've been putting up with. And plus this nigga probably wanted some pussy too. You don't know what the fuck she had to deal with. All motherfucking night long. Make sure the bathroom is Lysol out the game. Where the bleach at? We need you to put that in the toilet and, and wash it out. 
all that. You don't know what the fuck she had to go through to make sure all this shit is filleted out. There's extra rolls of toilet paper in there on the side. You know what I mean? Don't uh make sure you got a roll of uh paper towels in there so they don't wipe their hands on your good towels in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers going to go through your cabinet, so get ready for that shit. So go through these motherfuckers now and take out the bullshit that you don't want motherfuckers to be looking at. Especially if this is your primary bathroom in the house. You know what I mean? Take that bullshit up out the drawers and all that shit. Because it's going to be some nosy motherfuckers. Going to go in there and lock the door and going to go through all your goddamn shit. I'm telling you that right now. So you might want to go ahead on right after this motherfucking video, nigga. And make sure you move that bullshit out the way. Okay? Make sure you move that bullshit out the way. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, but yeah. So, uh, y'all, the holiday is upon us, and so I just wanted to drop that in there on that right there, okay? Then in there for we can get your etiquette up, because everybody get to go in the motherfuckers' houses and be real wrong ready, and that ain't looking nice. That's over with, okay? You too old for that shit. Stop that shit, okay? If ain't nobody ever tell you, auntie telling you right now, stop doing that bullshit, because it look crazy. You know what I'm saying? You too old for that shit. When it's time to start cleaning up, take your ass in there and start cleaning up. You done brought all these motherfucking kids, your dude, your cousin, and all these motherfuckers, and you can't go in there and wash the dishes? You see what I'm saying? That look crazy. Don't that look crazy, though? I mean, just think about it for a motherfucking minute. You gonna leave the kitchen and shit all fucked up for this woman right here to clean up when she the one and laid all this shit out here all day. Been planning this shit since Thursday. You know what I mean? Come on, y'all. Think about that shit. On some real shit. Because there's some motherfuckers that's ready to do this right now. But I never would have said nothing. Them motherfuckers would have just showed up. The food ain't ready? God damn. Is there anything I can at least taste right now? We ain't even said grace yet. This motherfucker, can I get a roll with some butter? Nah, sit down, motherfucker. Hell, you don't come to nobody goddamn house going through shit no goddamn way. That's one thing I don't like. You don't come to somebody's house and get to going through their refrigerator and shit and your motherfucking ass come from outside, you lifting up the tinfoil and all that old type of shit. See, all that shit is tacky as a motherfucker to me. You know what I mean? To me, personally. Because first of all, you ain't came in and watched not now, goddamn monkey paw, and you lifting up my tinfoil and looking all through my shit and all that shit shit. Oh, hell no. And make sure you got some spoon rest, ladies, in your kitchens. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you rinse them motherfuckers off from time to time. Because, see, it's going to be flies and shit all in the kitchen. You got to think about that. You know what I'm saying? Or put the, put your spoons inside of a Ziploc bag. The where's when motherfuckers is making their plates. Or if you making the plates or whatever, you put the serving spoons, serving forks, whatever, inside of a Ziploc bag. And leave that right there on the countertop. So, then therefore, ain't no flies and shit getting on the, the, the serving spoons and shit. And it's just going in and out of your pots all day. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I'm a Virgo. I'm real clean with mine. I'm real particular about shit. You know what I mean? I be watching motherfuckers on how their hands and, you know what I'm saying, how motherfuckers do their thing. You know what I mean? I'm one of them. You know, don't ask me to suck your dick and your nuts and sweat at the bottom. I ain't gonna be able to do it right. Hell no, I ain't gonna do it right. Why you don't suck my dick right? Because nigga, it ain't right. Okay? Yeah. I'm one of them. You know, I'm just telling you. You know? So, <clears throat> at any rate, <clears throat> I got to go get my daughter off to work, wind coat, spiral ham, you know what I'm saying? I got to go get mine, you know, punch concentrate, a little uh, pineapple juice on the side, you know what I'm saying, to make my kids some little punch or whatever have you so they can have them a little go-go to go with theirs, you know. And, uh, yeah, so that's what's happening, though. Um, I'm gone. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. You guys have an awesome Saturday. Love you. Bye.